Okay, welcome back. Uh, for our next thing, I would like to get us to the point where we can go to our select filters and click a plus button and select from a menu of all available filters. Um, so there's a few things we need to do to get that working. Uh, let's break it into two videos. Let's first of all let's uh, build a list of all available filters and secondly let's add that plus button uh, and make it able to bring us to a new view controller if you click it. Okay so let's let's give that a shot and then after that we'll make it so that the uh, the, the new view actually has a, a list of uh, available filters. So first things first we know that we have our filters here. Uh, the easiest way I think to get a list of available filters is just to build a uh, let's go let all filters okay and all filters is going to be an array of something of type filter and let's make that an array and let's just add instances of each of our filters so I'll add one scale intensity filter and I have to initialize it so I'm going to give it a value of 0.5 then we'll do a mix filter and a grayscale filter and finally an invert filter and we need to give that a name actually good old this will help us it's the scale beautiful okay so that's all our filters okay next thing up let's go to our storyboard and oh wrong storyboard we want the main storyboard and we want to add a plus button right here so I'm going to go to our list of available controls and I'm going to start typing UIB and I want this button bar item so we grab this and we try to put it up here and interesting I don't see the right effect uh, let me show you what the right effect is uh, if I scroll over here if I grab this that's what I expect to see I expect to see that kind of look okay this is easy to explain although easy to miss um, this view right here our scene image view it's got a section for the navigation item um, our but our select filters scene does not okay we didn't add we did not put a navigation item uh, that controls the title and we'll need that in order to start putting buttons up there so I'm going to go over here and I'm going to grab a navigation bar and I'm just going to drag it yeah under the view it has to be under the view so that should be a good spot that's not where I want to put it do that one more time oh wait a second I want the navigation item that's right perfect okay uh, oh and as soon as we add a navigation item we can give it a title so we want to call it the uh, what are we in we're in the select filters so say select filters sweet okay and now that we have that I can now add my button here so I'm gonna go uh, UIB there's my button bar item that's the one I want and now ah that's exactly what I was looking for see this can be docked to either side of a navigation item so I'll dock it here I could put some custom text in here like add or what's even better is uh, if I just make it a system item of type add then it's replaced with a nice plus icon which is familiar okay lastly uh, but not leastly we want to have a new view controller 
and we know it's going to have a table in it so let's do a uh, table view controller so this is just a view controller that's already got a table in it nice and pre-populated so we want this plus symbol to bring up this table view this table this controller um, the way we'll do that I select the button I hold control drag this is a show segue hmm, I think that's about it let's run that so what I'm expecting to have happen is uh, our select filters our select filters view should have a plus on it and if I click that plus it should bring us to this new view controller that I haven't given a name yet so go select filters hey there's our plus and that brings us to a new view that doesn't do anything yet and then we can go back looking pretty good okay uh, let's stop there